It's a rainy day and it's a good day to talk about money. money. This video was a tough one to make. Why? Because that's the reality of how much money we invested in this Land Rover Defender to build it to what it is today. Yes, it was over more than 12 years, but it's still loads of money. You're going to go crazy when you hear the number. Ready? 88,324 euros. Really spectacular, spared no expense. Eighty eight thousand three hundred and twenty four euros. Mm hmm. You heard it. I'll convert it like this, you know. It's more than a hundred and seven thousand US dollars, almost ninety seven thousand Swiss francs. Or about 138,000 Australian dollars. Une vraie réussite. J'ai dépensé sans compter. And this is without workforce cost, accessories installed and taken off, maintenance parts replaced over time, shipping costs, or not even all the time spent installing, replacing, and taking care of this four wheels drive. How much money should I add for that? Okay, that's it. We're done with this video. Okay, okay, I hear you. You want more details and a breakdown of where all that money went and what was the most expensive. But before that, let me know in the comment section below if you know how much money you spent on building your naked rig to a heavy duty four wheel drive camper. Oh, and for those who are new to the channel, I'm Emmeline and I'm the creator of Off Track Family. We are a family of four and we live in Switzerland. We own this Land Rover Defender since 2009, bought it new and built it up to what it is today over all those years. To not miss anything that's coming up, do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. And if you like four wheels drive builds and overlanding, add a thumbs up to this video. Do you want to know how to save money when building a four wheels drive camper? Watch this video until the end to know more about this invaluable tip based on our experience. Here we go, let's start from the beginning. The price for a brand new Land Rover Defender Puma 2.4 TDCI back in 2009 at the local Land Rover seller. Ready? Around 56,000 Swiss francs. Today this is a little less than 52,000 euros. I remember when we traveled through England and Scotland in 2014. The prices were starting at 19,000 pounds, which was way much lower than the prices in Switzerland. This is just to put you in the Swiss kind of life we're living here. To make it easier and also because searching through archives and invoices isn't fun, I'm only going to expose what we currently have on or in our Defender. I'm also putting aside all the tools or replacement parts we have in case of a breakdown. Let's go into the details. I know you're curious. It's kind of a walk around tour, so enjoy the ride. First of all, the most expensive accessories. Two were recently installed, but the other ones were bought years ago. We have for many years the Anibal Safari aluminum roof rack, our James Powered rooftop tent, an interior custom made wooden layout from Aménagement 4x4, the winch, a Talon 12.5 from Super Winch, this Waco fridge of 35 liters, our Globe 800 GPS with World Wild Maps, and all the communication systems such as CB, ham radio and antennas. And what was also very expensive but will also last many years to come is the long range fuel tank of 140 liters from Long Range Automotive and the two gullwing windows installed a few weeks ago from Rough Parts. Body protections, which include our ARB bumper, rock sliders, checker plates and rear steel bumper for a total cost of about 1,600 euros. Additional lights with laser lamps, LED lights and light force spotlights for about 1,400 euros in total. On the roof, this is the most expensive part that includes the roof rack, rooftop tent, awning and the box for more than 6,000 euros of investment. Next, the mud tires, rims and brakes, also including the spare wheel carrier. This is about 2,200 euros in total. The transmission upgrade wasn't far from 5,000 euros. We mainly have LOF clutches, Ashcroft transmissions and Gwyn Lewis parts. Then, our complete suspension upgrade was almost 2,600 euros with more than 1,000 euros for the Profender shops. Have you watched our suspension video? 
Just to let you know, if you upgrade your suspension with a lift, you might have more expensive to also upgrade some parts of the transmission and steering. In the engine bay, the most expensive parts were the bigger intercooler, the new turbo and the totally sealed but necessary air intake system from Nugget Stuff. If we add here the Safari Snorkel and the pre-filter, the total was around 2,700 euros. Oh, and by the way, concerning Nugget Stuff parts, they aren't any more available at first fall because the company has closed. I had a quick chat with Wayne and he told me the new distributor for the UK and Europe will be 4x4 Overlander. Next, the 12 volt setup cost us around 2000 euros. This is only the main gear such as batteries, inverter, solar converter, etc. And it doesn't include the small bits and pieces. All the rest are parts or accessories that cost less than 500 euros each. Wow, that was an overwhelming tour. And as said in the beginning, this total price breakdown is without garage costs, accessories installed and taken off, maintenance parts replaced over time, shipping costs and not even all the time spent installing, replacing and taking care of this four-wheel drive. How much should we add for this? Should we double the price? As promised, this is how to save tons of money when building a four-wheel drive camper. The most valuable lesson we learned over all those years upgrading our Land Rover Defender is choosing well-known quality parts and accessories will save you tons of money. Might sting when you buy them, but no regrets on the long term and no more money spent afterwards. We made this mistake many times, thinking it was a great deal and then often ended up spending more money for replacing and then spending even more money to finally buy high-end quality products that last over years. In the beginning, bringing the Defender to the garage and not doing anything ourselves, then little by little taking over maintenances and almost all the installs. Not even talking about researching, learning, doing things wrong and fixing our mistakes. This is an invaluable amount of time spent on this amazing four-wheel drive. Of course, we have this vehicle built this way because of our personal choices and we don't need any money judgment here, even if you think that all the money spent and all the time spent on our Land Rover Defender is crazy high. Would rather love to know what's the most expensive investment you made for your 4x4, so go on, comment below. I'm sure you already saw this meme. How do you say it in English? Meme? I don't know, I say meme.
to <laughs> If you didn't have a heart attack before the end of this video, you're as tough as our heavy duty camper. Thanks for watching and don't forget to add a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!